fair summer campers this is Betsy Veldman back again for Paper Tray Ink and right now I have a very quick and easy card set to share with you that you can make in just a few minutes and also a coordinating wrap uh, we're going to be taking a brown paper lunch sack and creating a fun wrap using uh, one of the edgers dies all right let's go to it all right, so I'm starting off with a set of white um, cards here, which I have pre-cut the bottom edge with the Edgers number three die. And then I'm going to be taking a strip of pattern paper. This is a five and a half by two inch strip of pattern paper. And I'm going to be using the uh, Harvest Berry die along with the Harvest Berry stamp set. I'm going to die cut this strip. I'm actually just going to cut a portion of this image from the strip about like this. I'm going to position it so that it doesn't cut through the top edge of my strip. I don't want it um, to separate into two pieces. That, that'll create a little bit more of a problem. Alright, so I'm back. I have die cut my strip and I'm going to toss away that actual die cut and we're going to be using the negative portion uh, what's remaining from this strip. So I'm going to go ahead and fold my card and then I'm going to put a little bit of a he adhesive on the back side of this strip making sure I get all of those little um, edges adhered securely down. Alright, so this is going to go right along the top edge of my card base. All right, now I'm going to take the coordinating stamp image from Harvest Berries and some pure poppy ink. Just ink that up. And I'm going to stamp this right on my card front, positioning it so that those berries, or those leaf images, I'm sorry, get nestled right inside of those die cut edges. Okay, just like that. See how that nestles right inside that die cut? Just kind of a neat look, very quick and easy way, like I said, to create a card. Now I'm going to take a sentiment, and this is from Think Big Favorites number 16, I believe. And I'm going to ink that up with some classic craft ink. It's a with gratitude um, sentiment. I know thank you cards are probably the most commonly... Um, most common cards I send anyway so this is going to be a thank you card set and I'm going to stamp that just right there overlapping with that leaf image and that's real that's all there is to creating the cards very simple and um, I'm gonna make a set of these out of using some different colors of the pattern paper they're all the same I've got some summer sunrise enchanted evening pure poppy and simply chartreuse pattern papers and I'm gonna do the same thing um, to create a whole set of these cards very quick and easy all right now for the coordinating wrap I'm going to take just a plain brown paper lunch sack and I'm going to be trimming off this bottom um, gusset the bottom the base of the of the lunch sack so I'm just going to be right back a second. I'll use my paper trimmer and just slice that bottom piece right off. And there we go. So that's what I just trimmed off with my paper trimmer. Then I'm going to take my Edgers number 3 die again, and I'm going to die cut the bottom and the top edges of this, of this lunch sack. All right, so here I am back with my sack, lunch sack that I have die cut both edges. And you can see I can open it up. It's almost just like a tube here. Um, die cuts on both ends and now I'm going to step away and I'm going to stitch across the bottom of the of the lunch sack alright so here I am back I have stitched that bottom edge and now you can see it's almost like a flat um, paper bag instead alright so now I'm going to take a jumbo eyelet these are um, some metal eyelets from we are memory keepers Alright, I'm going to take my crocodile and I'm going to punch a hole in the bottom edge here, right above my stitching in the center of the bag. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that eyelet with my crocodile also.
And there we go. Okay. All right. Now we need to embellish the front of our of our bag here also. So I'm going to take a piece of um, white cardstock. This is a five inch wide by six inch long piece of white cardstock which I have die cut the bottom edge with my edgers number three die. And I also have a strip of pattern paper which I die cut with the same method that we used for the strips on our cards. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to the top edge of that white cardstock piece. It's a five inch wide strip to match up with that five inch width of the white cardstock piece. And then I'm going to take my Harvest Berries stamp image again with some pure poppy ink. And I'll ink that up and stamp that again just like we did on our cards, nestling it in, um, in that die cut area. This time around when I did my die cutting I also got that smaller leaf image which is part of that of that single die. Both of those images are on the same die. I caught a little bit of that one as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that image also. And I'm going to add a few more of the leaf images to my cardstock here. I'm going to um, add some summer sunrise kind of coming up off of the bottom here. And then I'm going to add some blueberry sky. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the, the tiny three berry image. This is also from Harvest Berries. And I'm going to stamp some of those randomly around with some Simply Chartreuse ink. And then I also have the hand stamped for you stamp. This is also again from Harvest Berries and I'm going to stamp that with some Blueberry Sky ink. Alright and that finishes up the stamping on our front panel for our wrap. So I'll go ahead and adhere that to our, our bag. Leaving that top edge of the bag so that I can go ahead and fold that over to create a flap. And now we would put, you'd put your cards right inside there. And then you can fold that top flap over and then we can thread some twine through the eyelet that we set in the bottom of the bag. And that can act as a wrap. It's kind of a tie to secure everything closed. So I'll go ahead and thread that through there. A really long piece of twine here. But we'll wrap that around there a couple of times. Wrap it around the top and we can just go ahead and tie that in a bow. Which makes it very easy for the recipient to just untie the bow and take out cards and then you can retie it. And there we have it, a very quick and easy wrap for a card set. Very inexpensive as well. So here is a recap of our card set and coordinating wrap. You could do this with all kinds of different dies and images and uh, make some quick and easy sets to give as gifts. Alright, thanks for joining us. I hope you're having a blast with all the Stamp Affair activities. This has been Betsy Veldman for Paper Tray Inc. Have a great day. Bye! Mm -hmm.